No, he's going on a little date date. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sorry, Hershey. <laughs> no, actually, what are you doing today? Uh, I am going on a date, but it's a play date. Uh, so, um, when we went up to Zoe's graduation, um, I was able to connect with some of the parents and exchange numbers and stuff of like the the kids that she was really close to and really uh, liked her. And so we exchanged some numbers and going, been going back and forth trying to find a time. And so one of her classmates is coming down to Tacoma today. And so we're gonna have lunch. Um, they're en route, so we gotta head out here in the next few minutes. We're gonna have lunch at the spaghetti factory and then we're going to... Fine, take it. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna go to the Tacoma Children's Museum, which you guys have seen lots of videos of us there. Um, so yeah, should be a fun time. This little girl actually, um, Zara really loves too, and really, and she really likes Zara, and then uh, obviously Zoe and her like each other, so. Um, should be fun. I don't really know the mom too well, so it'll be fun to kinda spend some time and get to know her. And uh, it's nice that like we have She's bent it. You just pull it. <laughs> yeah. Good thing it just bends back. Uh, one of these times, though, it's just going to snap. Uh, <laughs> anyway, my ears are very resilient, so it really doesn't hurt. Um, but it's nice to have a friend, for them to have friends up in Seattle, and we can kind of go back and forth exchanging play dates and hanging out. So there are a couple other kids that we need to um, plan a play date and for us to go up to Seattle and hang out. But uh, yeah, so it should be fun. They are all, well, we'll see, well, I gotta get her nose, but Zara is all ready. She's got her hair freshly washed. <laughs> uh, and Zoe, I don't know where Zoe is, but uh, yeah, that's She's the plan. Tablet. What are you gonna do today? I don't know, probably uh, just walk around or just chill. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> All right, so I'm testing out this stabilizer uh, because of the simple fact that I bought it and I'm not real sure. I have to calibrate it. So there's a couple of different different things I have to do, and so I figured I might as well um, do the sample video. Hope you guys enjoyed my morning rituals, which is what I do uh, pretty much every single morning. Um, is wake up and of course the coffee is a must sometimes i do um <laughs> two or three cups uh but typically grind my coffee uh and get my day started and yeah so today of course not a cloud in the sky it's gonna get super hot later so i'm doing this now the girls are gonna go and as Noel said, have a play date, which is pretty cool. A lot of uh, Zoe's friends are still keeping in contact with her, even though she's moved. Uh, we felt it was important uh, that she keep some of her friends. And this friend is someone that loves Zara and Zara loves her. So that's pretty much uh, all they're gonna do. Um, it's cool that they're coming down to Tacoma as well because uh, for one, a lot of people haven't been down here, so they don't know what Tacoma is about. Uh, but I think Noelle's going to have them uh, actually come to the house, and then they're going to go to the uh, Children's Museum and all that stuff. So it should be uh, fairly interesting. And me, I'm just basically just taking a walk through the neighborhood, getting some exercise, that type of thing. Later on, I'm going to do some videos. What the heck is that? I guess it's a car that's uh, starting up. I saw a bunch of smoke. Um, later on, I'm gonna do some videos. Right now, I'm just testing out this system and see how well the stabilizer actually works. Uh, basically have to adjust a couple of different things. One of the big issues that I have with the stabilizer is the weight. Uh, it is a bit heavy. I mean, it's not that bad if you're gonna do a short video but when you have to actually hold it and for a long period of time it can get kind of heavy we were supposed to go to a festival today the Bonadori festival I believe it's like a Japanese festival uh, here in Tacoma but I don't think we're gonna be able to really do that because Noel and uh, Zoe's friend is coming down today so 
maybe next time but anyway I'm just gonna be rambling in this video so I hope you guys enjoy that I hope I don't get lost because for one when I'm in the neighborhood when I'm walking the girls and I when we're walking I typically will uh, keep the same areas I don't go too far uh, to many other places I walk the same route uh, it's the same thing when I go to stores and I park. I park in the exact same spot every single time, or try to, because I'll get lost coming to the car. So, when I'm actually out walking, I do the exact same thing. I try to go the same direction every single time, so therefore I don't have to get lost or anything like that, or break out the GPS and try to find my way back. So... My sense of direction walking and finding places is bad, but when I am driving, my sense of direction is great. So yeah, and if I'm breathing heavy, which I am, I apologize. But I have to walk up a couple of hills back there, so it's pretty rough. So one of the things about Tacoma is you may not know but Tacoma has a lot of parks and a lot of times people will say oh got a leaf stuck in my foot uh, a lot of people will be astonished with the amount of parks that we have especially for a city of its size uh, Tacoma is only about if you look at the city itself I think it's like what 216 216,000 people something like that um, but when you look at the metro area, the metro area is about a million people. So they consider that the South Sound. Anything that does not include, uh, Seattle, somebody's laughing. <laughs> um, it's eavesdropping. But anyway, um, anything that's not considered a part of Seattle is, uh, going to be considered, um, Tacoma. So the Tacoma region, uh, the South Sound, has about a million people in it. But just looking at Tacoma itself, it has a tremendous amount of parks. Um, I mean, just within walking distance of our house, we have like three parks we can go to. So, and I'm talking like short distances. We're talking like a couple of blocks each way. One of which we've went to quite a bit, which is Wapato Park. Um, or Wapato, we're still not sure exactly what to call it or what the real name is, or if we're saying it correctly, but it is uh, a pretty nice park to actually go to, and there's some others. The girls like each one for different reasons, um, one of which they like to go and find and hide rocks. Now someone asked me, what is all of this rock hiding stuff? We didn't know either until we actually moved to Tacoma. Uh, they may have done it also in Seattle, but we never knew of anyone or heard about it. Um, basically, here in Tacoma, there's a group, and it actually was even on the news about this guy, uh, but basically there was a group started that a while back where a person started hiding rocks. They would paint rocks, paint designs on them, and then they would go to parks and hide them right and these are beautiful painted rocks so a lot of artists and hobbyists they would do this and they would paint just beautiful pictures like whatever so they would paint their favorite uh superhero or they would paint i don't know the skyline of tacoma uh, or whatever right so they would hide these and basically people would find them and post it to that Facebook site. So it's a Facebook group. Now, of course, that Facebook group had a lot of issues later on, and the there was a guy that basically bought the group, which I never knew you could buy a Facebook group, but he bought the group, paid $1,000 for it, and now he owns the group. Well, anyway, he's trying to you know make the best of the group and make it you know, last and that type of thing and not have so much drama. So anyway, the 
group uh, basically has all these different rocks that they hide, some of which are in their neighborhood, some of which are different parts all over, uh, Tacoma and even in other areas. There's been people who live in other states who also do something similar. And sometimes they'll post in that group as well, uh, showing just the designs that they do and that type of thing, right? Well, the goal is for you to basically paint these rocks and either keep them or you can paint them and hide them. So, uh, and actually Wapato's right in front of me. The point of painting and hiding them is so that other people can find them and appreciate them, right? Other people will find them and either keep them or hide them, rehide them, right? The girls love it because they don't know what they're going to find. Usually it'd be a minions or something like that. Um, but they also paint their own rocks and they hide them too and people try to go and find them and that type of thing. So it's a great little hobby to have and since we've been here in Tacoma we've really tried to get the girls involved in so many different things um, just to keep them balanced. You know for one it allows us to spend time with them that we feel that they need doing a little hobby together. For two, it allows them to express themselves and ourselves. And three, it's just really good to, um, sorry if I'm switching hands all the time, but uh, you might hear dogs barking. Um, but this thing's heavy, so I have to switch my hands. And yeah, you're gonna hear them barking over there. It's a big dog. Anyway, um, so basically what it allows us to do is have a hobby with them, spend time with them, allows them and us to, to share our artistic abilities. And it's just cool, you know what I mean? It allows uh, community engagement because people who hide them uh, typically wanna know if you found them or not. Um, and your goal is not necessarily to uh, go out and find them. Your goal is mainly to uh, get exercise, I feel, you know? You never know where a rock is gonna be hidden, but the goal is to go to these parks, enjoy yourself, and if you happen to find the treasure, then great. But anyhow, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end this video testing out my stabilizer. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, 